Welcome to another edition of Let's Play Ring of Honor 2015. This is Super Card of Honor. Um, I apologize, I don't know my Roman numerals. <laughs> if I'm correct, this is Super Card of Honor 5. Which, I could be wrong, but I think that is actually what the number is. That a V in Roman numerals is 5. So, you know, as you can tell, I am in the process of booking a match between Johnny Gargano and Kyle O'Reilly after Johnny Gargano cost Kyle O'Reilly the title shot or, or really the victory in the 16-man single elimination tournament back at validation last month. Which means that Johnny and Kyle have some unfinished business to take care of. And the unfinished business that they have to take care of involves Kyle involves really Red Dragon and Johnny Gargano and that's what we're starting tonight with Kyle O'Reilly versus Johnny Gargano but from out of nowhere from out of nowhere the return of Alex Shelley to Ring of Honor as Alex Shelley <coughs> As Alex Shelley, um, as Alex Shelley makes his way out to the ring, running in to save Johnny Gargano, and I'm gonna save this for when I actually start booking out the regular part of the sh the other part. I mean, uh, going over the show rather than booking out the show. Um, so this is gonna happen. Nigel, Rob, and Nigel McGuinness officially books Rob Echoes against the, R o the current ROH World Heavyweight Champion, Jay Briscoe. And yes, you might ask, what if Jay doesn't win well that's a good question the answer then Rob Echoes would get his shot against Welsh because I think everybody knows that if Rob Echoes doesn't win Welsh will that if that if you were Rob Echoes you'd probably want to verse Jay Briscoe rather um, what did I want to do? Oh, yeah. Oops. Nope. Though, the other guys are going to be there. It, every, uh, though all three of them are going to be there, let's just say that they did this. Actually, uh, yeah, let's just say they did this because I don't want to do the same segment twice. And this is borderline the same segment already, so what's the what's the difference? <clears throat> and yes, as you can tell, um, well, plain and simple, certain things may look very different to what's actually happening on the pay-per-view in the storyline menu, but that's only because in the storyline menu, well. In reality, that's only because I changed plans. Originally, the plans were very different than what I'm going with, but I decided to go with different plans because, well, I have Adam Cole because I have Jay Lethal because I have AJ Styles for two more weeks because I have this guy because I have that guy, and it's very unnecessary to make a guy like... No, no offense to Rob Terry, but does Rob Terry really fit 
the Ring of Honor style, and I felt that the answer to that question was no. That Rob Terry does not fit the Ring of Honor style. And that is the reason why I changed my mind on who should be challenging for the Ring of Honor or who will be walking out of this pay-per-view holding the Ring of Honor world title. I know I'm aware that there are certain people on the roster that you have not heard from, you have not seen, you have not I have that I have not done anything with that will change in the very near future. Uh I just need a little bit of time. I di- I just need a little bit of time because those guys that you saw on the on the roster that you have seen you have never seen before are actually guys that were supposed to somehow tie into Welsh and Jay Briscoe's storyline, but because I changed my mind due to the fact that Jay Briscoe that Welsh does not really fit ROH and does not fit being a top guy, I changed my mind and those guys are now in limbo. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Guard 1, Guard 2, and Jamin Olivencia. So, eventually, you will hear, once again, from Jamin Olivencia and Guard 1 and Guard 2, just not now. Eventually, though. And if you don't, well, then there probably means they ended up on free agency. Now, as two pre-show matches are out of the way, let's get to the show. As the returning Frankie Kazarian and Chris Daniels compete on the pre-show, as there wasn't really room on the regular show for them, but they proved me wrong that they should have been on the regular show, getting a 62 in a basically a, a squash match against Rich Money and Tadarius Thomas to open up Super Card of Honor 5 on the pre-show. And Homicide defeats the master the young upstart from California Trevor Lee in the in the second pre-show match of the night this next match or this next segment rather is Christian York I totally forgot about making the announcer start the show with Bobby Cruz and Kevin Kelly so just so just picture that Bobby Cruz and Kevin Kelly kicked off the show with the uh, welcoming you to Super Card of Honor 5, live on I Pay Per View, where and you and they build up the main event, which is Jay Briscoe versus Welsh for the ROH World Heavyweight Title, and also the other semi main event tonight, Adam Cole versus AJ Styles, and who could forget about the Kingdom against the Young Bucks. Which you, and you will get the backstory of all three of those matches later on tonight. <clears throat> this next match actually goes back to about a month ago when Johnny Gargano lost the semifinal round in the 16 man single elimination tournament to. Kyle O'Reilly after Bobby Fish interfered as Bobby helped Kyle in many ways get to the final round of the 16-man elimination tournament as Bobby was at ringside following an injury sustained by Bobby that Bobby was stricken by I believe back in January before I started up this tournament or really started up this tournament which is also the reason why Kyle and Bobby had to vacate had to vacate the ROH World Tag Team titles, which led to the best of five series between the Bucks and the Addiction. But now the numbers game is getting to Johnny Gargano as Johnny gets disqualified, or Johnny wins by disqualification after Bobby Fish gets involved. But from out of nowhere, Alex Shelley makes his presence felt here tonight at Super Card of Honor, making his Ring of Honor return to help his friend Johnny Gargano fend off the Red Dragon, Red Dragon, 
as Red Dragon is sent running in shock that Alex Shelley is back in Ring of Honor. No, I know Alex Shelley has appeared previously in Ring of Honor with his partner Kushida, but this is first time that he's actually back by himself. Shelley, Gargano, the numbers game doesn't exist anymore. The numbers are even. And now we move to the next match where TJ per the next segment rather as TJ Perkins rips into Christian York saying that Christian York is that Christian York is the is the wrestler that TJ always I apologize I'm uh, losing my train of thought TJ Perkins says that Christian York wishes he was TJ that TJ Perkins is the wrestler that Christian York always wanted to be but never had the talent to be and tonight TJ Perkins will prove once again that he is the best wrestler in the world under 230 pounds. And he does exactly that as TJ as TJ defeats T Christian York. And yes, you might question, well, why are you letting TJ win? Was the feud between him and... Let me, uh, let me tell you this. Just because they're feuding does not mean the babyface has to win. It means that, number one, if the feud ain't over, the heel's going to get the win. And second, why should I let Christian York get the win? I'm not ready to stop this angle yet. That just me this just means Christian York is out of the picture. Even though, yes, TJ did cheat, he's a heel. That's what's supposed to happen. Now we move to the next segment where Maria is back with her tag team, the Kingdom, hyping up their match tonight against the Bucks. As she says if she knew whining and complaining could get you titles, she would have started doing that. Title shots. She would have started doing that a long time ago. And then she brings up the point. Yes, we might have done it, but at least we were here. And now we move to the next segment, which sees the kingdom. Matt Taven and Mike Bennett defeat... The Young Bucks, with the f as Mike defeats Nick with the photo finish, and the Kingdom successfully defend the ROH World Tag Team titles tonight against Matt and Nick. And now we move forward as Rob Echoes talks about how Nigel... Nigel brought him in to Ring of Honor. Nigel gave him an opportunity to do, to show off his talent, to be who he always thought he could be, but was lost. He, Nigel signed him off the brink, from the brink of retirement, from the brink of insanity. And brought him in and gave him a chance. And now you see why Rob Echoes has always been the best talent in pro wrestling. It's just that certain people were too dumb to realize the talent that I had. But now here in Ring of Honor... I am going to show my talent. I am going to take what is rightfully mine. And that is the ROH World's Heavyweight Championship. Nigel, come on out here. Make it official. I am using my 
title opportunity to challenge Jay Briscoe for the ROH World's Heavyweight title because it's about time I take over this company. Nigel walks out and simply says, You want your match? You got it. You, you earned the opportunity to face Jay by winning the 16-man single elimination tournament last, last month at validation, and you're getting the shot you rightfully deserve. So, in the next, in the, in the very near future, I'll get to this match in a second, in the very near future, Rob Echoes will step into the ring against either Jay Briscoe or Welsh, and will challenge for the ROH World Heavyweight Championship. And now, the next segment sees... A match that featured great heat, great wrestling action, because two of the top stars in Ring of Honor go one-on-one -on -one as Adam Cole of the Kingdom faces the leader of the Bullet Club, AJ Styles. And Adam Cole wins due to the numbers advantage as Maria and Taven and Bennett run in to help Adam Cole during the match to get him the win and AJ following after the match is extremely pissed off and Adam actually is showing a little bit of uh, ill will towards the kingdom the rest of the kingdom members for getting involved in the match because he basically tells him I could have did it myself but before anything could happen between the kingdom the Young Bucks run in and chase off Matt Taven, Mike Bennett, and Adam Cole as they leave with a smile on their face. But the only person that does not have a smile on his face is Adam Cole. What happens next between not just the Kingdom, but Adam Cole and AJ Styles? Because I can tell you this much, it ain't over between them just yet. And then after the kingdom, after things settle down at ringside, we move to a video package highlighting the history between, even though, yes, it might have been a short history, we highlight the history between Welsh and Jay Briscoe and what's brought us to tonight's contest. And now we move forward as Jay Briscoe, Welsh, Go 25 minutes. Jay Briscoe and Welsh go 25 minutes. And Jay Lethal. Jay Lethal. <clears throat> interferes. In many ways botched interference. Because he accidentally hits Welsh. Or so we think it's accidentally. Because though Truth Martini is a little... You know, puzzled by what Jay Briscoe, Jay, Jay Lethal rather, what Jay Lethal does. Jay Lethal seems like he knows what he's doing by hitting Welsh. And by the way, I forgot to mention Adam Cole versus AJ Styles was no holds barred, and that's why what what happened was able to happen. Do I really have to explain how Jay Lethal could interfere in the match without disqualification, knowing that Jay Lethal is managed by Truth Martini? Come on. But either way, Jay Briscoe successfully defends his ROH world title against the man who took him out. In late March last month, removing him from validation and making him unable to compete at validation. And that's what led to this match tonight, a month in the making between Welsh and Jay Briscoe. But... After the celebration, after officially defeating Welsh, Jay Briscoe looking around, wondering what the heck happened, he looks at the ramp, he looks at the ramp, and sees both Truth Martini and Jay Lethal. Him, Jay Briscoe and Jay Lethal just stare each other down, both hanging, ha holding up their respected championship belts. Jay 
lethal with the ROH television title and Jay Briscoe holding up the ROH world title. Both men holding up their respected championships. And Kevin Kelly's going crazy on commentary because he's saying, what the heck? Why did Jay Lethal help Jay Briscoe retain the ROH world title? I guess we gotta find out this Thursday night on ROH TV. Don't miss it. That's right. We leave you on iPay-Per-View with more questions than answers because the simple question is, why did Jay Briscoe, Jay Lethal, help Jay Briscoe keep the ROH world title if, for the last month and a half, Jay Lethal has been bad-mouthing Jay Briscoe and saying he's just a paper champion? Well, you want to find out? Tune in to the next video, which is the next episode of ROH on Sinclair. For this episode, you see that this pay-per-view was good enough that we increased our popularity in 16 regions with a solid 59 for this I pay per view Let me know in the comment section what you thought of the show, what your favorite part was, least favorite part was, and what you think I could have did better. And if nothing else, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, for more content just like this that you can only find right here at Wrestling Express. Till next time. Later.